think one of the most painful thing as a designer is to spend a lot of time and energy working on a project, creating a beautiful design with, you know, subtle interaction and animation. And then you hand over your design to the client or a developer and when you see the final result, you're like, ah, this is not what I was planning. And it just looks horrible and you are feeling kind of ashamed to even show this to your friends or your colleagues because you don't feel proud of it. And you just feel like the developer completely ruined your dream design. And I think this happens to everyone and it's super, super frustrating. But obviously this is part of our job. Right now, at least in you know mobile apps, I think this is a huge problem. We're doing beautiful animations, but we have to hand them over to developers to execute them. We can't, we don't have a tool right now to allow us to completely do the animation and hand over ready-made code or animation for development. We have to rely on other people to actually do the work for us. Now in web, the situation is a bit different because tools like Webflow are super awesome. You can create already the interaction and all the animations in tools like Webflow and just export the code and it's wonderful and it's ready. I wish there was something like this for mobile app developers. By the way, I kind of had this idea of developing kind of like Webflow but for mobile apps because I think this is a major point right now. But anyway, back to the point, when working on mobile apps, which is, I have a few projects right now working on mobile apps, there is nothing like this right now that I can hand over ready-made animation, so I have to rely on developers to actually execute my ideas. So today I had a call with a developer on a project that we're working together. I've created kind of actually pretty complex animation using After Effects. I threw their bunch of effects, which are pretty easy to do in After Effects, but are super, super complicated to implement in real life. It was animation that actually react to your voice, sound visualization and histograms and fairly complex animation and I had to explain the developer exactly how they should work, how they should react, in what pace and how quickly, what should happen for him to actually go there and try to develop it themselves. I used to hate doing this and I still don't enjoy doing that right now but I understood that if I really want to achieve great results in my work I have to spend time and actually learn how to be very very clear and nice and understanding to the person who actually has to do the job, the developer, and ha actually has to do the the execution on this. So if I'm not, it sounds silly, right? But if I'm not even nice, and if I'm like, why can't you just do it the way that I imagined it? You did it completely wrong. This will kind of create frustration that will not allow the project to reach its kind of really design potential. So it's took a lot of kind of Zen meditation to understand this is part of my job. I have to talk to a developer right now for two hours on the phone to explain why this animation doesn't look great and how to do this in order for the project to be completed. So I told the client that if we really want to go for the best results, I will have to actually accompany the developer step by step and do the iteration with them and spend time on meetings and Skype calls to actually do this. And in order for me not to not feel like I'm doing something which I'm not being paid for, we actually set up a bank of hours for kind of uh, working with the developer on the animation. So now I feel better, at least I'm getting paid for this, and I actually feel like the results are getting better and better. And just recently when struggling with communicating the animation to the developer, I came across this article about uh, an After Effects plugin called Lottie um, that is actually something that Airbnb created to export directly animation from um, from After Effects directly into kind of creating the code for SVG animation. So I think this is a great, great way forward and I really want to give this a try. Again, specifically in my case, the project that I'm working on, it, I cannot use this because I need the animation to react to voice. So I cannot use this, but I think this looks pretty promising and I'm going to give it a try. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. It's going to be a short day today because I'm trying to help my wife as I came back from vacation. So I'm going to pick up Tommy from the kindergarten and spend the afternoon with him so she can chill for a little bit. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow.